It's that time of year again. The air is getting cooler and leaves in other states are changing colors and everywhere you look, there's going to be pumpkins. As I pass by the countless pumpkin patches and roadside stands, it's got me thinking, what's up with the pumpkin? Well, it's a pretty cool story. So first of all, pumpkins are considered a fruit and that was news to me. Pumpkins are in the same family as cucumbers and melons and are classified as a winter squash. They're believed to have originated in Central America. In fact, seeds found in a Mexican cave with some cave paintings were dated back to 10,000 BC. Back then, they were pretty bitter and mainly cultivated for their seeds. And way before the pilgrims, pumpkins were a staple in diets of Native Americans. When the pilgrims came, they kind of adopted that. And now the Native Americans had been roasting seeds to eat and dried out long strips over the fire, either to snack on or to weave into mats. Pumpkins are regarded as the incarnation of a goddess who had come from the heavens along with corn and beans to the Native Americans, of course. In December of 1492, Christopher Columbus became the first European to lay eyes on a pumpkin patch. In Europe at this time, watermelons were popular refreshments comparable to ice cream nowadays. He immediately identified them as a melon of some sort, though not the variety he was used to, and he actually brought some pumpkin seeds back to Europe, which is how they made their way to Spain. By the 16th century, huge pumpkins were grown in gardens and fields all across Europe. There are many different ideas on how to get the biggest and best pumpkin harvest. In one region, the largest woman of the village was to sit on the pumpkins for a while, so they may grow to be as voluminous as her hindquarters. In other areas, they took the pumpkins to the uh, church to be blessed and so they could become as big as the uh, bells on the church. Pumpkins are a warm season crop, but are also known to tolerate colder temperatures as well. The ideal temperature is between 64 and 86 degrees Fahrenheit, and they can also thrive in a variety of soils, making them a pretty versatile crop, which it kind of explains why they're grown pretty much everywhere. Now today, Spain is the second highest exporter of pumpkins in the world. In 2017, Spain exported $386.3 million worth of pumpkins. Most pumpkins are consumed in the country of origin, but Spain, Spain is an exception and exports mainly to other European countries. Its top five importers are Austria, Netherlands, Portugal, France, and the Czech Republic. Pumpkins can be found year round in Spain, but April through November are where you'd have the best availability and they'll be the freshest too. Most of the country's productions come from Caminidad, Valencia, and Magala, and I am sorry if I'm saying that, uh, but up to 3,170 hectares are dedicated to pumpkin production. Now they do have a pretty, um, I don't want to say strenuous, but they do have a post-harvest um, strategy, of course. So once the pumpkins are picked, and you want to make sure that you don't pick them before they are fully matured, uh, then they go through a process that's called curing and this heals the wounds from the harvest and allows them to reach full maturation if it hasn't already. So it should be right there at the brink when they do uh, pick them. Fungicide treatments are done quite a bit to avoid post-harvest rotting and they're kept in an environment without temperature control. It has to be well ventilated with low relative moisture. So to keep the good ventilation and to promote good health, good airflow, they're kept on racks and platforms. Starting in 2014 and over the consecutive seven years, the new cap is planning to invest almost 45 billion European dollars in Spain's farming sector with priorities in jobs, sustainability, innovation, quality, and modernization. They also gave Spain the ability to adapt the payments and de developmental programs to meet these specific needs, and it is definitely paying off. Pumpkin
Pumpkin consumption and use vary widely depending on the culture of the regions. The way that the U.S. uses the pumpkins for jack-o'-lantern recreational and decoration purposes is almost unheard of in Spain and other European countries. They would much rather use them in tasty recipes for pumpkin custards, ice creams, and pies, stuff like that. Um, now, in France, a lot of the pumpkins that are exported from Spain are used primarily in feed for cattle. Places like Austria and Spain use them for a lot of tasty recipes, as I mentioned before. And just an example of how the use of pumpkins vary widely. Um, again, in the U.S., we use them for decoration and for carving, where in uh, places like China, now China is the world's largest production of pumpkins in the world, but they don't export hardly any of it. All of it is used in consumption, mostly in North China. And South China is always used for food and cattle, <laughs> cattle food. So I hope you learned a lot about pumpkins in my presentation here, and I sure did have a lot of fun painting these pictures and trying to uh, let the history of pumpkins and the production in Spain to come to life. I've also attached a document with some of the source with all of the sources that I used uh, to make this presentation, just in case you want to do some further research. And I just couldn't figure out how to put it in the video.